Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another gear raffle and review. Today, we are going to look at Wolfwise's Mosquito Net Hammock 2-in-1. So, let's get right into it. Alright guys, before we get into the review of this hammock, I want to cover a couple quick things. First off, if you guys are new to the gear raffle and review, you can head on over to our Patreon site. There'll be a link in the description and for as little as $1 a month, you can get entered in every single gear raffle that I do. Next up, if you guys remember, a few videos back, I was going to give away to my favorite comment, this great Smoky Mountain t-shirt. And the winner is Alexi, who says, I would eat trail mix crumbs out of your beard for a free anything. Well, guess what? You don't have to eat anything out of my beard. You just won yourself a free t-shirt. A quick shout out to Trailbound, who was the winner of the last t-shirt giveaway. Uh, his comment was something about getting an XL dude into a medium-sized t-shirt. Well, he actually put a small video together on his YouTube channel, and I'm going to link that in the description below. So go over there and check it out if you guys want to see an XL dude in a medium t-shirt. The next t-shirt I'm giving away is a Hiking Sasquatch t-shirt. If you want to win this t-shirt, leave a comment below, and I will choose my favorite comment, and you will win this t-shirt. Remember, guys, all of the t-shirts that I wear and give away in these videos are brought to you by ShirtmanDude.com. All right, and lastly, before we get into the raffle, all right, and lastly, before we get into the raffle and review, uh, last time I talked about how I was going to give every patron one of these uh, personalized between the blazes hand sanitizers on a little carabiner to put on your pack. Little update: I'm getting ready to ship these out to all you guys, but I'm having trouble because hand sanitizer is flammable. I can't ship it everywhere with the sanitizer in it. When I bought these, I actually imagined they would come empty, but they actually came with the sanitizer in it. I'm going to have to empty these before I ship them out uh, because of shipping. Sometimes, sometimes you're not able to ship them with flammable. I mean, I'm shipping some of them to Canada and stuff, and it's just going to be easier and cost a little less to ship. So when you get these, they will be empty, but you can fill them up and they're gonna hang nice and neat from your pack. On with it, they say. Back to this hammock. Now, uh, Wolfwise is a, a newer company that's coming out with some pretty inexpensive gear, and this is their take on an ultralight hammock with built-in mosquito net. All right, guys, this hammock comes advertised from their website at weighing in at only 17 ounces because it's their ultralight hammock. I've got it on my scale right now with everything that comes packaged ready to use at 27.8 ounces. But let's take away the carabiners. Let's take away the ropes that you're not going to need that are inside here. Dang it! Where are the ropes? Ah. Instruction manual. Wherefore art thou my rope? There they are. Okay, take two. I have got all of the gear they've sent me to use to set this hammock up when it comes to the ropes and the carabiners uh, and the little guidelines for the mosquito net on my scale right now, and they come in at 31.1 ounces. Now, that seems a lot more than their advertised 17 ounces, so let's see why that is. Let's take away the tie ropes that you need. You actually have to have these to tie it to a tree and the mosquito net rope. Let's take away the uh, two carabiners that come with it. And we're still at 23.4 ounces for just the hammock itself. So I'm not quite sure where they come up with this 17 ounces, but uh, it looks like it's a little bit heavier than that. Wolfwise was kind enough to also send me their uh, tree straps for their hammocks. And let's see if you were to use those, what your weight would be. We're looking at about 40 and a half ounces or so, which all in all guys, that's really not that bad. You know, 40 ounces, even with the hammock straps, that doesn't bother me. It's still really light. From their website, they've got this advertised as $28.98. This is a really, really cheap date when it comes to a hammock. If you guys are getting into uh, hammocks, going from tents, this is a great option to make that transition. But let's get in a little farther and find out why it's only $28. $28.98. When I was setting this hammock up for the first time, um, I actually 
saw that it comes with an instructional manual and I threw it on the ground because like who needs an instructional manual to hang up a hammock? And then I actually did later on look through the instructional manual because I wanted to make sure that I was hanging the mosquito net properly. And to be honest with you, this isn't so much an instructional manual as it is just a, it tells you what it comes with. It doesn't really give you any idea of how to, it's got some questions and answers but mainly it's just in 10 different languages, um, but you really don't need it. And uh, you'll see, I got a little video I'll put, plug in here of me setting it up. It's pretty simple. When I gave this Kamek a real close and Kamek? What the hell is a Kamek? When I gave this hammock a real close inspection, uh, you get to get an idea of why it's a little bit on the inexpensive side. Uh, you can tell where the, uh, the mosquito net is attached to the hammock. In some spots, it's double stitched around the edge and the stitching actually stops being double stitched and goes to single stitch. And then there's a, about an inch section before it meets the zipper that there's actually no stitching at all. So my thoughts on this is it's, a, it's more of a machine mass produced kind of thing. And it's gonna lack that quality that you get in your more expensive uh, like name brand hammocks that will say, hey, this thing's, this thing's gonna last the test of time. I really don't believe this hammock is going to last, but for that cheap price, if you're looking for that, that hammock to get you started, I mean, it's really inexpensive, um, but I just don't think it has that high quality. Now the hammock straps, they sell separately. Getting a closer look at that, these straps I think are I don't know if they're manufactured in the same company or not, or if they're bought separately, uh, because they do actually have a, a, a Leap Air uh, a logo on them. And I think these companies may be paired, but these look like they're a much higher quality. So if you're looking for just hammock straps, they do sell these separately, but uh, getting a close look at these, these look like they're really well made. Now, another sign towards the quality of this hammock, when I pulled out the little guidelines that uh, actually help you hold the mosquito net up, uh, when I pulled them out, they were actually fraying and unwinding as I pulled them out. Uh, the nylon cord that they're made out of, I, I believe it's a nylon cord. Uh, anytime you cut cord like that, it's always good to melt the end, which I got a little video of me actually melting the ends of these so they didn't get any worse because I am giving away the hammock, but it looks like this company has just cut them to length and then just wrapped them up and threw them in the bag. So as I was pulling them out, they were unwinding. That just shows to me the, the lack of care or attention to detail. You know, they're really just trying to pump these hammocks out. It's gonna keep the cost down, so I understand why they're doing it. It'd be an extra step to melt the ends, um, but it's just, it's showing just a little bit of low quality in this hammock. Moving on to the two-in-one, the bug net being attached to the hammock. Now, when I, when I heard about it, I kind of liked the idea because one thing that a hammock doesn't have over a tent is the ability to keep the bugs out, but I wasn't expecting them to come as a one piece. Now, they're sewn right together, and my first thought was, what if you don't want the bug net? And I actually climbed into the hammock with the bug net down and laid on top of it. And I was afraid that because the hammock is so lightweight, I'm afraid that you would tear it. I would not suggest climbing in on top of it. Uh, and later on, I did realize that you could flip the hammock over and sleep on it that way. I don't know if that's the way it's meant to be done, but because the bug net is sewn right in, you cannot remove it. Also, with the bug net being attached at the top where the guidelines hang, it's attached to such a thin material, you, you really should be careful. This thing just looks like it would rip or tear very easily. Though I do think it is a cool design, um, I would like to see it be able to be removed or um, have it attached in a different way. And also, when you're laying in the hammock and you have the bug lines uh, stretched tight, if the tree trunk is not wide enough to hang the bug lines out far enough, you get this big sag down in the middle, uh, which is just kind of, that's not really even inconvenient. It was just annoying to me because you had that sag down. I'd love to see that being pulled out a little bit more so you feel like you have more room. Hammocks tend to feel a little claustrophobic anyways. Maybe I was setting it up wrong, but I tried it a couple different ways and no matter what I did, I still had that sag. Now, maybe they could work with a couple different designs and come up with something that, that works out a little bit better. But like I said, these are my opinions and I'm just pointing out some things that I saw at first glance when I put it up. Now, the thicker ropes that come with this 
uh, hammock itself to tie to the trees. I'm not a big fan of that. Uh, they're not very adjustable. I understand, again, it's another way of keeping this, the cost of this hammock down. You know, they could bring the price of the hammock up just a little bit, throw the straps in. I'd rather see that than, again, it just shows a little bit of the cheapness of this is just throwing in two pieces of rope and being like, hey, tie these on there however you want and clip the carabiners in. It's harder to adjust. Uh, I would just rather see them have the hammock straps with the hammock. Another thing I'd like to see them include in their hammocks or on their websites, I believe that if you're going to sell a hammock, you should be selling uh, rain tarps for them or some kind of a rain fly. Uh, their company doesn't sell on it. You can always go to another company because they are completely separate. But I think if you want to get into distributing hammocks, um, most people that are camping are realize that a lot of times when you're backpacking and camping, it's going to rain on you and uh, they should have that option. Well, there you have it, ladies and gentlemen. That is my quick little review. Uh, my two cents on the Wolfwise hammock, just as a, a first glance. I like the, the cost of it. It's, it's very inexpensive. I think I like the idea that they're thinking outside the box by adding the, the mosquito net to it. And do I think that it's a good hammock to get yourself into using hammocks if you're used to just doing tents? Yes, I do. Because otherwise, you know, if you go out there and get some of these high dollar hammocks and you find out that you don't sleep comfortable in a hammock, you've just spent uh, uh, more money than you needed to. You can get something like this and it'll give you uh, what you need to know, what you need to find out whether you would like a hammock or not. Now for the moment you've all been waiting for the raffle. Remember guys, for as little as a dollar a month, you can get one entry in every single gear raffle I do. Head on over to the Patreon site, it'll be in the description below. But without further ado, the winner of the Wolfwise 2-in-1 Hammock Mosquito Net thing is... Digging deep, number... Number... 17! And number 17 is... JSP Wayne. JSP Wayne, you have just won yourself a hammock from Wolfwise. Congratulations. Well, there you go. There's my two cents on the Wolfwise hammock. Let's open up the comment section of this video to talking about hammocks and switching from tents to hammocks, or if there's any other hammocks out there that you guys know or like and could suggest for other people. But remember, guys, these videos are just my opinion. And if you don't like it, you can go take a hike. Bye-bye. What the hell is a kamek? I like it, I dig it, I want more of it.